Hey, everybody. Jill Jack here. Um, just wanted to say thanks for letting me be a part of Holidays and wish I could be with you, but since I can't, I will do a song by a man I was born on his birthday, Mr. Elvis Presley. I'll have a blue Christmas without you. I'll be so blue singing about you. Decorations are on a green Christmas tree. Won't be the same thing if you're not here with me. And when those blue snowflakes are falling, that's when those blue memories start falling. You'll be doing all right with your Christmas hour. But I have a blue, 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 blue Christmas. Yes, I. Now, let's keep the good cheer going on, and we're going to be joined by Joe Bauman. Hi, Joe. And we're going to Hi, take Joe. an audience poll to announce the evening's first giveaway. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, everyone at home, for being there with us. I know it's cold outside. Actually, it makes it great to be inside a warm house. Maybe you've got a little fire next to you or, you know, hopefully a beverage like Dr. Boss and Dr. Wonski have. I can say that uh, what you see behind me is a 2015. Uh, hopefully the folks still aren't at Castle Farms waiting for their dinner that night uh, because I wanted to make sure I was, I was here. And full disclosure, this is my first holidays event. It's, it's unbelievable to me considering the stories I've heard. I'm actually from Cadillac. I, you've allowed me kindly enough to come and carpet bag the Charlevoix this evening, but I'm able to do it from the comfort of my home, and I'm so happy to be here. I've been part of some other months and great events, the power of the purse here in Cadillac, but I heard about the holidays and all the crazy stories and the amount of money and the number of years and the amount of community involvement, and I couldn't stay away. I was excited just to be asked to be part of this um, next to Dr. Wonski and Dr. Boss, who I have to believe that those sleep jokes have <laughs> got to be nothing new for anybody in Charlevoix. <laughs> well, so, I try my best, Joe. <laughs> I've heard some pretty outlandish stories about these crazy Christmas coats and ties, and they, they get auctioned off for a huge amount of dollars. Well, support the hospital. Are these stories true? Dr. Boss, do you have any, anything you might be able to share with us? Somebody well, new like me who would love to hear it. Yeah, well, as a lot of people know on this call, on this Zoom meeting tonight, boss in Greek means talker. So I will continue with that great tradition. Now, it's interesting. Last year, a lot of you may remember what happened. I saw the video myself with my own eyes today. I talked to John Singer, who is so kind to give up the coat off of his back as an auction item last year. That was this great Christmas coat with a great Christmas tie. I talked to him about it, and he's, he was just flabbergasted, as he said in his words, and he was so joyful. And you have to know John Singer. He was so happy about what a wonderful gift that was because it raised, ready, $1,700. Read my lips again, dollars. Wow. Wait, so, was this made of gold or some sort of <laughs> other precious material? Right. Did John, come um, with it, Craig. Well, actually, it's interesting because Rumpelstiltskin is a member of our uh, staff at the hospital. <laughs> it's been working out beautifully as far as charitable donations. But with that said, John was so happy, and uh, I texted him, and he wanted to give his very best for this evening. That's really incredible. Thanks so much for sharing that story. I, well, I'm here to just, frankly, add in maybe a couple of polls throughout and a couple of giveaways for all of us here at home. The first thing I wanted to do tonight was actually open up a poll for everybody to 
kind of be involved in. As many of you know, this year marks number 28, lucky 28th annual holidays event. So with that in mind, tonight's first poll question is of the 28 events, how many have you been to? How many years have you been to the holidays event? Now, in uh, virtually, and in person. Invite all of you watching from home, and I actually open it up for the attendees as well to be able to participate. I can see the votes coming in quickly. We're just gonna give it a couple of minutes, and Dr. Wonski, or a couple of seconds, not minutes. Dr. Wonski, how many of these have you been to? Well, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but um, Craig and I are now the old ones on staff, and I don't know how that happened, but yeah. um, I was uh, pregnant with my youngest child when I opened uh, Boyne Area Medical Center with Pam Kanish uh, many years ago. And Alyssa's now almost 24, which means I've been to around 22 of these events. Incredible. You don't look a day over 21 of them, if I can say Oh, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> how about you, Craig? Well, you know, it's kind of funny to say that. I was pregnant with our fourth child at that time. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it, it, the labor was terrible, but thankfully Erica helped out. Um, actually, my answer would be E, just like my high school grades, uh, 16 to 20, because it was so busy for us at that time. So, yeah, I've been at about 20 of these. Fantastic. Well, I'll tell you, we've got a lot of newbies or relative newbies. I mean, not as new as me, mind you, uh, although a few of those as well. Welcome to the seven of us, seven or eight of us who are here for our first one. Uh, but you'll see, uh, Dr. Wonski, you are in a very special group there at the <laughs> 21 to 25. So it's called Old just... Joe. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, we're going to, frankly, the next reason I'm here is for a couple of giveaways. I want to thank everybody for playing at home. And we have a couple of giveaways tonight. You didn't need to do anything except show up. You just need to click on the Zoom link and stick around. Listen to some of the stories and the wonderful things that the Charlevoix Munson Hospital are doing for you and your community every day. And so our first giveaway tonight is, at, is a $50 gift card to Cafe Sante in Boyne City, which I've been to, an amazing cafe, but it can also be used at Red Mesa or Pearls in Elk Rapids. And I have received, well, I've received the name. Somebody who's here tonight had like a drum roll, please. I'm telling you, the band isn't what it used to be. It's just, it's really a downgrade in COVID times, I guess. And I'll say that the first winner are Marilyn and 10 Ted Dumball. Congratulations. Woo! Yay, woo! Card. Way to go, Ted and Marilyn. Way back in the back of the room. I'm sorry you didn't get up front, but you got to get here a little bit earlier. Although I, I assumed you were here quite early, in fact. So the foundations team will mail your card in the next week. And I'm going to actually leave you for the moment. I'll be back in a few minutes with some more fun, but we have some more things to take care of. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Thanks, Joe. Wow, for the responses from that poll, you can see what a loyal and committed community this event brings every year. For 28 years, we've come together to support our hospital and that, that hospital that we love so much and appreciate so much in our community. Our donor community is really outstanding. It's because of your generosity that our hospital continues to be so strong and vibrant. So this is amazing. Did you know that since the beginning of this event, it's raised over $2 million for critical services at Charlevoix Hospital? And just alone in the last five years, over half a million dollars. That's you know, kind of amazing. I'm sorry, Kath. I, I just get all goosey when I hear that kind of stuff because you're so right. Our donor community is truly amazing. And in times of need, all of you as donors and supporters show your support in real and impactful ways. As our community continues to face the challenges of COVID-19, please know that your charitable support is so vital for Munson Healthcare Charlevoix Hospital. It remains as important as ever. So we thank you so much for your part in this holidays tradition. And we thank you for taking time to be with us for this evening. Now, we'd like to turn it over to Joanne Schroeder, president of Munson Charlevoix Hospital. Kathy and I are so appreciative of all the work that she has done. Joanne is going to share some Charlevoix 2020 highlights as we uh, begin to learn more about the holidays funds and how it's impacted the hospital. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Dr. Wansky. 
Thank you for that introduction and uh, welcome everyone to the 28th annual Home for the Holidays. Um, you know, this is a time of year I reflect on our anniversary of becoming part of Munson Healthcare. December 1st, we celebrated our fifth anniversary. And again, on behalf of the entire hospital, I would like to thank the Board of Trustees for making that very important decision that has kept healthcare local. So it goes without saying, this year will go down in history like no other. Uh, no doubt it has been one that most of us never dreamed we'd experience. Yet as difficult as it has been, we have found ourselves awakened to the importance of everyday gifts, such as our family, our friends, and the most meaningful things in our lives. So I think it's important to recognize that you chose to be here tonight. We do have so many successes to celebrate at the hospital despite the current environment. And among a few 2020 uh, highlights and accomplishments are, um, we have a 3D mammography unit and that was installed on March 18th. And if you recall, the executive orders came out March 19th, which um, required us to close our elective um, procedures. So unfortunately, since the install coincided with the first wave of COVID, it didn't receive a lot of fanfare in the public. But despite that, we've completed over 300 studies. And we were able to get this piece of equipment because of a very generous anonymous donor. So thank you. Our hospital was also recognized by the Michigan Alliance for Innovation and in Maternal Health as a silver recipient, recognizing the hundreds of babies we deliver at the hospital each year. And we administered extensive cancer care close to home. And additionally, those individuals who also may have had financial needs, that some things that we may take for granted, we were able to help them with groceries, transportation, even helping with some of the bills that they've had. We also managed over 30,000 outpatient visits, over 2,500 surgeries, and 8,500 emergency department visits. Holly Days is a long-standing tradition within our community, and, and I love that poll question. Uh, so many of you have come back year after year, and, and it's, it's just powerful. I have always been so impressed with the support that the hospital receives from the community. But it's a night that we see our extended community from Charlevoix to Boyne City, East Jordan to Ellsworth, and Eastport to Central Lake, to Bel Air, Petoskey, and Beaver Island. All of our communities come together to support and celebrate Charlevoix Hospital. This, and as you heard earlier, Dr. Wonski say that over the last five years, we've raised over $532,000. And just to share with you some of those dollars, um, we were able to renovate our surgical departments. We were able to renovate our laboratory. Um, last year, the chemotherapy compounding room, you may recall, and our rehab department. We were also able to purchase cardiovascular ultrasound equipment, laboratory equipment, and it has enhanced the care that we do provide already to our maternity patients, our newborn patients, surgical, urological, and cancer patients. It's definitely a legacy to be proud of, and I wanna thank each and every one of you for your continued support. Your generous giving has allowed us to have state-of-the-art facilities. Last year, Holly Day's funds has, uh, were earmarked for women's health services, and we have in, uh, invested in several pieces of equipment uh, to enhance the care and safety of these patients. And a part of that work is underway right now, which we are um, putting in place a central fetal monitoring system in the obstetrics department, which will allow us to continuously observe the baby's activities while in the hospital for, from any location prior to being born. Proceeds from this year's holidays will go towards what we call our core service funds. And that will ensure our continued success and allowing dollars raised tonight to be utilized for the highest priority areas or items we identify given these uncertain times. Having said that, I want to assure you that while there, this has been a tough year for Munson Healthcare, for Charlevoix Hospital, for the entire industry, Charlevoix Hospital is strong. Despite maybe a headline of a recent article you may have seen, Munson Healthcare and Charlevoix Hospital are in stable financial position and we are well positioned to serve the community in the future. Charlevoix Hospital remains strong and that's due to your generosity 
but it's also due to the incredible team of staff who continue to meet the challenge of this pandemic head on. Our team of physicians and nurses and all the healthcare workers continue to provide excellent care while prioritizing our patients' needs above all else. I'm excited to tell you that donations for tonight's event already began. Uh, it's great, uh, again, so thankful for your support. I know this year undoubtedly is a year that we must all dig deep and really give thought to what we can do to make a difference. We know there are so many areas of need and attention, needing attention during this time. Tonight, I am asking for your support and thank you for being here and for your investment in our hospital. Please know every gift matters and that all funds raised locally stay local. So challenges of 2020 and 2021 to come, we're here. We hear you, we see you, we will face you head on with courage, respect, and determination. We will move forward with caution, but we will move forward. So I would like to share a video uh, before I turn it over to our next speaker that was created by five-year-old Carmela Lu Lucido, uh, assisted by her dad, Dr. Mar Michael Lucido, who is a psychologist at Charlevoix Hospital, and with a little help from Andra Day's song, Rise Up. It's a video that expresses gratitude to our healthcare workers. I hope you're proud as I am. I hope that you are proud. You're broken, broken down, down and tired of living life on merry-go-round. And you, you can, can find, find a fire by seeing you to so the water. Well, Carmela is an awesome little spirit. And sometimes we just need to hear a child's voice of strength and empowerment. So thank you for that. So I, um, 
would like to move on to wishing you a very happy holiday and introduce our next speaker. So it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Bevan Clayton, who I have the pleasure of working with each day. And he is our medical director of our emergency department at Charlotte Lavoie Hospital. So I'll turn it over to you, Dr. Clayton. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? This is my first holiday, so I'm excited to be here. Um, I want to give you some background. I'm, I'm a relatively newcomer. I've been at Charlevoix for three years, but at the same time, um, I'm an old timer. I grew up in Central Lake. Uh, my family has been in, in Antrim County and Central Lake since uh, the Civil War days. And so uh, this is home to me. And uh, after going to medical school and spending 25 years on the other side of the state, I came home in 2015 and worked two years down in Traverse City at the main ER in, at Munson and, and uh, had a wonderful experience with a great group. And then was given an opportunity to come up here and come home and, uh, and work at Charlevoix. And I had an opportunity at that time to, to pull together a group of physicians using uh, local providers uh, here and pull it together with uh, ER, board certified ER physicians that we brought up from Munson and pulled that group into a very nice, uh, good, working, cohesive group. At the same time, we were able to uh, bring in new things, some new ideas, some new skill sets uh, to just continually to improve the care at the emergency room here at Charlevoix. And I just have to tell you what a wonderful experience this has been. This has been uh, a tremendous experience for me. This is a, a wonderful, absolutely gem of a hospital. Uh, I just can't stress that enough. Uh, the, the, the staff at this hospital, I would say, is uh, phenomenal. But bar none, I would put the staff in this hospital up against any critical access hospital anywhere. Unbelievable surgeons, unbelievable pediatricians. Uh, I'm just going to say, having pediatricians, the quality of these pediatricians here at this hospital, people may not realize just what you have. You have amazing uh, amazing pediatricians, the hospitalist program, we work so well together, and all the staff, the nurses, this is just a wonderful family type hospital, and uh, the administration as well, just a great place to work. Um, it's, it's a gem. It's a hospital, and what I would say is between, it's between here and there. It serves an area that is critically, uh, that needs to be critically served, otherwise people would have to travel a long distance to get this kind of quality care. And yet here is Charlevoix providing high quality care to a local community that otherwise would have to travel a long ways. I love my job, I frankly have to tell you. I love going to work every day at Charlevoix. It is a pleasure to come in here and go to work. Um, it is a wonderful little ER. It is small, it's only 10 beds. And, and because of that, we are busy, but yet we still have time to actually sit down and listen to people and talk to people and listen to their story so that we can really get it right. Are we perfect? No, we're not, but we're striving to be. We strive that, strive for that perfection, but we can sit down and listen to people and really understand what their needs are and hopefully make the right decision at that time if we're listening to them appropriately. It's been a tough year, I will tell you that. Um, it's been a tough year for the whole country, for the whole world, frankly, for every hospital administrator, for every hospital system in this country. And Charlevoix is no different. We have been you know, struggling with COVID-19 like everybody else. And when we see people coming into the ER, you know, we, 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 we feel for them because they are our friends, our family members, our neighbors. They're my relatives many times. They're my coworkers' relatives. And we see what this has done. So it's, it's been a tough year but we will persevere, persevere through this. You know, when we come to work all day and we have to breathe through a mask, a mask that was meant to be put on and taken off and thrown away between every patient, no, we wear it continually. And I'll be honest with you, we find little places off in the offices somewhere to take that mask off and gulp air and then go back to work. It's, it's been a tough year, but we will persevere through this. And, you know, I just have to say that, again, the hospital of this quality, here in this area, if you don't know what you have, uh, you should find out because it's a phenomenal place. Great place to work, wonderful people, wonderful administration, and we will struggle on. We'll get through this COVID-19 epidemic or pandemic. We'll get through it, but 
I ask that you just continue to support this hospital. You would never want to lose what you have. It is a phenomenal place. And I can say that from a person who grew up in Antrim County, moved away for 25 years, and now I'm relatively newcomer coming back. And I can say it from looking on the outside in and then the inside out. I enjoy this place tremendously. And we just look forward to all the support we can get to continue to strive to move forward. Thank you. Well, wow. Thank you so much, Joanne and Dr. Clayton and Camilla. I, I'm really thankful that I had time to pull myself together after that video. My family's probably laughing right now that I had that time. I know that I speak for Craig and all of our medical staff from admitting, housekeeping, dietary, lab, pharmacy, ward clerks, nursing, administration, and of course the providers. When I say that, as you can tell, patient care is really our passion here at Charlevoix Hospital. And it's really, I think, the teamness of the hospital and, and our passion that makes us unique and makes us different from everyone else around the area. It's what we really do best. Uh, so in spite of all the current challenges, we've had quite a year of successes to celebrate and we wanna celebrate it with you tonight. That is so true, Kathy, and I have to um, echo the same thing. Uh, Bevan, thank you so much for your comments. Joanne, we're so thankful for your leadership, and we're so thankful again for those gentle, small voices that tell us what's really important in our lives, so thank you. Um, we'd now like to invite Joe back, <laughs> because we're all kind of shaking that off. <laughs> yeah, hey Joe, come on back. Oh, come I'm on here back. to give everyone an emotional break. Yeah. Man. Yes. Take a sip of your drink. Take a moment. Take a breath. Uh, listen to me riff for a second and give something away. That that'll make uh, at least for the moment everything everything all right. And certainly not everything is all right. But we're here. Frankly, we're here happy that Charlevoix Hospital and Munson Healthcare exists and that it's doing great work. And so uh, obviously, all of those tears uh, seen off camera are happy tears and I'm so glad. I, mean, I have the same feeling about my hospital, Munson Hospital in Cadillac, so I can totally feel it and know it. Um, I, I did briefly, uh, I'm a lawyer by trade, so I think it's fair that anytime there are two doctors, there needs to be a lawyer. So I, <laughs> uh, it's kind of a requirement. So I think that's why Munson has me doing these events now. So <laughs> we just to our next Joe, we just run, it's okay. We're glad to have you, Joe. <laughs> Luckily, I don't do malpractice work, so everybody's safe, so. so Everybody at home is eligible for the next drawing. Um, and I just received, uh, I, I get them by text. It's a very advanced method of pulling a name. I have a, a whole set of elves who pull out names for me. So our second winner, and this time we're pulling for a $50 gift card for American Spoon in Charlevoix. You can use it at any of their locations though. And so uh, I'm not gonna ask for the drum roll because the band's off drinking somewhere in my house. So they're worthless. So. Uh, our winner for the second giveaway is Brandon and Sarah Weaver. I want to thank you for still being here, hanging out with us. Way to go, Brandon. Here's all Sarah. around. Thank you. As mentioned before, the foundation will send you that gift, uh, gift certificate next week by mail. So I want to thank you for, for sticking around with us. Thanks, Joe. Hey, so for our next poll question, we want to test just how much you know about a very important part of our holidays tradition the gifts of love uh, donations. So most of you probably already know that these are the donations that usually follow our featured patient speaker at our traditional in-person event. They are truly gifts made from the heart intended to support the hospital in specific funding areas. This is an incredible, when I heard about, I love crazy coats and ties and uh, you know auctioning off that sort of thing, but frankly, an auction, essentially, just to say, I want to give this and I want to commit this as a, a gift of love. I couldn't think of a better name and I couldn't think of a better routine and tradition. And so our, our poll here is, we heard that in the last five years, more than $530,000, $530,000 has been raised for critical care at the Charlevoix Munson Healthcare Hospital. But of that $530,000, how much of it has come from these gifts of love donations. Not auctioning off something, not getting something in return, but frankly, just raising your hand and writing a check. How much? So we're gonna, we're gonna launch this poll here. 
as you can see, you've got a couple of options. Of the $530,000, how much of it do you think came from the gifts of love donations? Mm -hmm. So even though I know that uh, Dr. Wonski and Dr. Boss, you, you have the script in front of you, if you hadn't had it in front of you, how much would you have guessed? Well, Craig, you know, I, I'm not really good at this multiple choice thing. It's always a challenge. What do you think? Well, I got my uh, medical degree online. Let's see. Um, <laughs> I, and because of that, with my famous test taking skills, always take the uh, middle answer. What do you say, Kat? Uh, middle, middle answer, always. Yeah. For sure. That is, that is great. My, my bar exam was also significantly multiple choice. So you always go with C. C. But as, and, and in fact, as you can see from sharing the results, most of the folks, or a plurality, went with you and went with us. But actually, the answer is $350,000. Wow. 6%. Yeah. Mind blown, right? Came from just folks writing a check and raising their hands. That's a, it's incredible. And we're going to give you, I think, a, a chance to do that tonight. So uh, I'll get out of your way, Dr. Boss and Dr. Wonski, and get back to some more fun. Thanks, Joe. Hey, thank you, Joe. Appreciate it. So if you didn't know already, now you do. The gifts of love donation are critical to the overall fundraising total of the holiday celebration. They account for about 66% of the total amount raised during this time and specifically over the five years that we talked about previously. So we'll see Joe back here shortly for another giveaway. Thanks, Craig. Okay, and now we get to the part of the evening that really signifies what this event is all about. There are many aspects of holidays that we look forward to. Dressing up, enjoying the company of friends, competitively bidding over silent auction items, incredible Great Gables food, and of course the ever-loved heads and tails game that I of course never won. You know, <laughs> Craig and I could probably sit here all night and talk about, we won't, but talk about why we're so committed to Charlevoix Hospital. But what really matters what really matters, you guys, are the patients and how they feel. So for me, the Gifts of Love Speaker presentation is the most special and significant part of Holly Days. It gives us the opportunity to learn firsthand how Char Charlevoix Hospital and staff has made a significant impact in the life of our patients. And so it's really my pleasure tonight to introduce our 2020 Gifts of Love Speaker, who will share a bit about her personal health journey with us all of us tonight. So a good, big welcome to Karen Peters. Good evening. My name is Karen Peters. My husband Doug and I have lived in Charlevoix for 18 years, following spending 27 years on the South Arm in the summertime. I'm here to share with you just how this hospital has changed my life two times in the last two years in wonderful ways. Before I do that, I'd like to speak to you about uh, my time with PMR and educated you about that autoimmune disease. While what I have to say may seem not very cheery, I want to mind that I consider the care I got here at this hospital to be one of the blessings of my 2020 year. Autoimmune diseases are, are bad. <laughs> PMR stands for polymyalgia rheumatica, which means many painful muscles. It afflicts mostly white women in their 70s and 80s, although it can afflict men, and it can occur in earlier decades. The only cure for the pain of PMR is prednisone, which I call my um, Miracle poison because of all of the side effects. Please be ready to suggest to a friend or loved one who is talking about the symptoms that I will be describing to get themselves to a doctor sooner rather than later. A little more than two years ago, at the age of 74, I was and had been playing tennis for six to 10 hours a week for over 40 years. I was an avid gardener. I had water skied when I was 72. And I was known for being very strong and having unending stamina. While PMR can have 
a slow onset. I have learned that for athletes, PMR can come on rather suddenly following an emotional or physical trauma. It also has a connection to hereditary link. For me, the precipitating factor seemed to be the partial tear of my right shoulder tendon rotator cuff. Within a few weeks, I had severe pain across the back of my shoulders, followed two weeks later with pain in the front of my thighs when I stood up or sat down, so that it felt like I was having my muscles torn right off of my legs. I tried to figure out what I had done to cause this, and so I iced my muscles and I warmed them. I used them and I rested them, and nothing helped, even NSAIDs like ibuprofen because the only thing that helps with PMR is prednisone. After three weeks of my being in intractable pain, my daughter, Laura, actually went online and figured out I might have PMR. By then, here are some of the things I could not any longer do. I could not roll over in bed or pull a blanket up over my body. I could not get out of bed without pulling myself out with a rope. I could not get dressed or undressed without a lot of pain. I could not towel dry after a shower and I could barely brush my teeth or brush my hair. I could not sleep for more than four hours in a bed. The rest of the time I spent sitting straight up in a, my office chair, hoping that I could fall asleep. I was terribly sleep deprived by the end of all this. And at this point I asked my doctor who was not in Charlevoix for an appointment. He told me he could see me in three weeks, even knowing that I was in terrible pain. I was given prednisone at the time at the first appointment, and that didn't seem to work for more than 12 hours a day. And so I said I needed more care from him. And he said, well, I'm sorry, I can't see you for three weeks and I won't change anything until I do see you. So I was between a rock and a hard place in terrible pain. This is when I decided to come here to Munson Charlevoix Urgent Care. My husband drove me here, of course, and I had to use a foot lifter to put my feet into and out of the car. And then I had to slide myself across the parking lot and into the emergency department because it just hurt too much to lift my feet. It is here that I met Dr. Mark Smith, who quickly found my solution by giving me a shot of steroids in my hip. My life changed immediately for I had no pain for two more months while I was reducing my prednisone dosage. I knew then that I would not be in this terrible pain for the rest of my life, and that one day I might enjoy living once again. Oh my goodness, I can't thank him enough. Two years later, in late August of this year, I was nearly off the prednisone and feeling very strong. I had been back on the tennis court, and I thought I was nearing remission. And then boom, all of a sudden my vision in my right eye went black for about 15 minutes. My husband, Doug, took me to the hospital once again, of course, where I was fortunate enough to meet up with uh, Dr. Bevan Clayton. Blindness caused by PMR is not uncommon, but in my case, it, I didn't have the typical symptoms. I had a terrible pain in my neck and my jaw when I chewed. So terrible, I just stopped eating. Dr. Clayton developed the plan that saved my eyesight. And he started me on an IV drip of massive steroids. He set me up with the hospital in Traverse City and also with an ophthalmologist who saw me on a Friday night at 10 o'clock to take care of me. Dr. Clayton said to the Traverse City Hospital that I would be arriving around midnight. And he set up and coordinated lots of diagnostic tests to rule out any other problem that may have been causing my blindness. It all worked. How can I thank you enough, Dr. Bevan Clayton? You've made my vision be intact. I know I could still lose my vision at any time, but we do have a plan in case that happens. I also thank Dr. Thomas Ling, my primary care doctor here in Charlevoix. He, he is coordinating my care with my rheumatologist in Grand Rapids, for there are very few rheumatologists in Northern Michigan. 
I've learned that not many primary care doctors really want to take care of people with um, autoimmune diseases. So I thank him very much for making the coordination. I thank my husband, Doug, who had to watch me be in devastating pain for two months and some level of pain for two years without being able to do anything about it. That takes a toll on anybody. Tonight, Doug and I are announcing a Oh, earlier this year, we gave the hospital a donation to help them through this COVID year. This has been a particularly difficult year, of course, for small hospitals because of COVID, even if they ended up not seeing very many COVID patients. I am eternally grateful to have this fine institution in our little town. I am so connected to them and to further care if I need it, and so are all of us. Tonight, Doug and I are announcing a further donation of $10,000. I hope that each of you will join us in making whatever donation you can afford so that we can continue to ensure our local community has access to quality health care. These gifts of love will provide continued investments in the innovation and services provided at Charlevoix Healthcare Hospital where it's most needed. And I celebrate my vision and my thank yous to, to this hospital uh, for all that they have done for me this year. Thank you. Karen, thank you so much for sharing your journey with us. You know, we have amazing primary care physicians and ER physicians at Charlevoix Hospital that have helped you. And we're really excited to hear that you and your husband, Doug, are making a gift of $10,000 to support Charlevoix Hospital Core Services. Uh, we're grateful. Uh, for our guests watching from home, we really hope that you can um, be touched by Karen's personal story. And we hope that Doug and, and uh, Karen's generous gift announced tonight might further inspire you to give at whatever level might be in your means. Thank you, Karen and Doug. What a way to kick off our Gifts of Love donation pledges this evening. Thank you so much, Karen. That was so heartfelt, and uh, we so agree with you. The wonderful care that you've received and the true compassion that uh, you have felt and that we so, so appreciate about this story. Thank you so much. Um, now, for those of you who have attended the in-person event in years past, you'll remember that this next part is usually led by a professional auctioneer, Wade Least. But tonight, <laughs> <laughs> but because of our uh, virtual circumstances, which sounds kind of funny, doesn't it? Like virtual circumstances. It does. Mm, okay, so Kathy and I are going to take on the role of gift of love auctioneers. I've always wanted to be an auctioneer. We play, <laughs> auctioneers. We play auctioneers on TV, but for tonight, we're just going to do our best, okay? So we're not professionals, but we're going to have fun with it, and we hope that you have fun with it, too. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to start at the $5,000 gift level and go down from there. When you hear the gift level that you want to donate at, you will click on the Q&A icon located along the bar at the bottom of your screen. So all you have to do, I'm doing it myself right now, you move your cursor down and you'll see a Q&A box. And all you have to do is click on that and then simply type in your name and the amount of your donation and click send. Yay. Feel free to test that while I'm talking, okay? So as we receive those messages and pledges, we'll see your name on our end and we'll announce those donations as we go, okay? Now, as those donations come in, as, as they're logged, the foundation staff will then follow up with you next week after the event to confirm the details of your donation and payment. So for tonight, all you have to do is pledge your donation. It's like free money. So just do that big number because that's going to be so great. You'll feel so good. And when the foundation contacts, you'll, you'll remember and you're going to do it with a smile. So thank you already for that wonderful, wonderful pledge that you're considering at this point. So got it? Sounds easy, doesn't it? Good. 
So now for all of the, all those who have already made a gift to the Holly Days gift or love donation online or send it by mail, thank you so very much. You don't need to do anything unless you want to donate more and we'd be happy to accept that. That would be wonderful, okay? So if you've already sent in your donation, Kim Binninger and John Gower with the Munson Foundation are here to help us recognize all of you at tonight's event as well, okay? So we're gonna have Kim and John come on board if you're there. Hi, John. Hi, John. Hi, Kim. Hi, Kim. Hi. <laughs> Hi there. Well, it's great having you. Okay, now, so just bear with us, everybody. This is new stuff, new territory for us as we navigate it but I think we're gonna have some fun, okay? So are we ready to get started? Don't worry, we'll start off slow. That's what we say in medicine, start low and go slow, but this <laughs> way we're gonna start high and move down, okay? So we're gonna start high and we're gonna move down as we go. Ready, Kath? I'm ready. Hey, you guys, let's start with a beverage. I think oh. a little toast, a little beverage to start with is a good start. Uh, ready, like John, ready, Kim? Woohoo! Woohoo! I'm finding a toast. Here we go, a toast. Uh -oh. We got to okay. help out. Okay, good I'd deal. Like really well, take it away, Karen and, Karen and Doug Peters have generally, generously kicked in $10,000 donation. So we'll start off by opening up the bidding at our platinum circle level um, of $5,000. So if there's anyone watching from home who wants to make a $5,000 gift of love donation, that would be awesome. If so, you can click Look on the bottom of your uh, screen for the Q&A icon located on the bottom bar of your screen. Type in your name, the amount of your donation, in this case $5,000, and hit send. We'll be able to see your name on our end. And if you don't want us to see your name, just put no name on it with the amount. We'll give everybody a minute to locate that Q&A icon along the bar at the bottom of your screen. Okay. You know, so, do we have I, any gifts of love bids for $5,000 tonight? I'm going to just say something while people start navigating this or considering this gift level, Kath. I, I, I was thinking about this uh, before the event tonight. I was thinking when I used to work in the ER 100 years ago, or just a little bit under 100 years ago, and when we would need a CT scan, I remember this classically, I needed a CT scan of someone's cervical spine, and uh, we didn't have a CAT scanner at that time. So we would have to put people in a, uh, an ambulance and move them to Petoskey. They would get a CT scan and then they would come back and then we would have the results so that we could actually care for the patient. But because of gifts like this and others that we'll talk about tonight, that allowed us to get a CAT scanner superimposed with wonderful gifts throughout the hospital of staff from every staff level on up. It was just beautiful. That's, that's amazing, Craig. So we'll give everyone a little bit of time here. You know, we, were, we really benefited from this uh, when Pam and I first started too at uh, Boyne. The whole addition of Boyne Area Medical Center was paid for by, by this uh, event. So we're really thankful for that in Boyne City for sure. Good. Well, John and Kim, do you Kim? have any uh, donations that you would like to announce that came in online or via mail? We do, actually. Um, we want to share with you, with all of you that we've had an absolutely amazing response to holidays this year with mailed in and online gifts made ahead of the event. Um, Dr. As Dr. Boss and Dr. Wansky go through the live holidays bidding. John Gower and I will be back to recognize those donors who sent in their gifts ahead of tonight's virtual event. And at the end, we'll announce a grand total of mailed in and online donations. I'm going to start off by thanking our first group of donors. So here we go. Um, we'd like to thank Michael and Jennifer Anis, Dr. Mark and Denise Antishonen, Thomas and Mary Armstrong, JC, and Mary Bascom, Dr. Craig and Erica Boss, Bingham Insurance Services, Richard and Marco Brandel, and Burnett Food Service, Food, Burnett Foods Incorporated. Thank you to all of you for your generous gifts of love donations made on behalf of holidays this year. John will be back a little bit later to announce the next group 
And now back to you, Dr. Boss and Dr. Wonski. Thank you guys so much. Thank you all so much for those donations. We really can't even tell you how much we appreciate it, especially this year. That is wonderful. Okay, let's keep things moving along. We're gonna go ahead and open up the bidding at our next diamond circle level. That's $2,500. For any of you at home that would like to make a $2,500 gift of love donation, again, click on the Q&A section. You can go ahead and put in your name if you'd like. If not, just say no name and put in your donation amount, which in this case would be $2,500. Um, we'll go ahead and give you a couple of seconds uh, so that you can consider this and we'll continue to move on as we go throughout this bidding level, okay? We'd love for you to consider this $2,500 giving level as we go forward and how all those gifts will go to these core services this year to help our hospital be strong in a time where we have to be as strong as possible given the uh, impact of what's going on. Yeah, you know, Craig, uh, these, these items have really gone to a lot of core services in the past at Charlevoix. Um, OB, OB services have really um, been uh, grateful for, their, uh, for this uh, amount of money. And they have three new OB uh, physicians and a couple of great pediatricians uh, at the hospital now. One of the OBs is, happens to be my daughter, who is now back, grew up grounding in the hospital and now is, is doing OB in the hospital. Also, you wanted to talk a little bit about the infusion center, Craig. Yeah, absolutely. But first of all, I'd like to mention that Jim and Rebecca Jekyll have donated at the $2,500 level. Guys, thank you so much. And yeah. speaking of OB and uh, speaking about a couple, both of you, thank you so much, Jim thank and Rebecca, you. for your commitment to our hospital, to the commitment to the community to your ongoing uh, striving. And Jim, thank you so much for your leadership as our chief medical officer. I'd like to point that out, guys. Um, Jim, thank you. Um, and uh, it, obviously, it's a dynamic duo there with you both as you help our community and our hospital. Thank you. Do you want to talk a little bit about the infusion center, Craig? No. Yeah, uh, well, okay. in a minute, we have another. We have another nope. twenty. We have another twenty-five hundred dollar um, person, Tanya and Wayne Smith, who generously donated at the twenty-five hundred dollar level. We thank you guys so much. Uh, the the funds are really needed at the hospital at this time, so thank you so much. That is just wonderful. Thank you so much. This means so much to our hospital as we're going forward. That is great. Um, we'll give it just a couple more seconds. Uh, please feel free to go ahead and enter in your pledge. Perhaps while we're uh, giving some folks a little more time, John and Kim, would you like to go ahead and talk about some other folks who have sent in donations online or via mail? I, I certainly have another group here to, to thank. Um, remember, these donors are those that sent gifts ahead of the event, but uh, we'd like to thank John and Nancy Sisney. Charles and Nancy Cleland, Dr. Megan and Garrett Coggin, Rick and Kathleen Cohen, Dr. Benjamin and Emily Edwards. We'd like to thank EJ and East Jordan Plastics, Deborah and Court Essenther, uh, Robert and Kate Essenberg. And again, thank you so much for your generous support of holidays. And Kim will be back uh, shortly for the next list of donors. Back to you, Dr. Wonski. All right then. Hey, let's open up the bidding at our gold circle giving level of $1,000. Um, use that Q&A button at the bottom of your screen again and type in your name and the donation amount and hit send. Again, if you don't want your name on it, just put no name. And um, we're looking forward to those donations tonight. So who would like to make a $1,000 donation? Kathy, call on me. Craig, I'm calling on you. Thank you. I've always wanted to uh, be a student again. So <laughs> I just wanted to make a quick note that Sarah Malpas, thank you. So, uh, so right, in any case, um, right, I didn't see that by golly. So good deal, perfect. So we're gonna go on here. Um, Jim and great. Taylor Malpas, thank you so much for your donation tonight at the thousand dollar level. We really appreciate it. 
Appreciate that. And also and, Dave and Shirley Curtis, thank you so much for your support of the hospital. Beautiful. You know, I, I want to stress that all of these funds that are being given are staying at Charlevoix Hospital. Um, we're thrilled to be part of the main Munson system, but they stay at Charlevoix to help support our staff um, and our hospital outpatient services. Um, we really, really appreciate it and need it this year more than any other year. Right. It's, you know, and I was, you know, and you had uh, mentioned before, uh, Kath, about some of the services that we've had before in the past that we didn't. I'd like to share uh, something that was so special to us. My wife had to go through chemotherapy a long time ago in a land far away, and we're so thankful that it was so long ago. But before our current infusion center, we had uh, infusion. She received her first chemotherapy in a dark, dank back of an uh, outpatient clinic with a curtain drawn. And we were laughing about uh, what would happen with chemotherapy as our youngest was three years old and our oldest was eight years old. And now when we think about the therapy that our patients receive overlooking the lake, overlooking um, everything that's beautiful about our area and knowing that not only are they receiving healing therapy, but they're also receiving healing from the area that they can look out on and the patients um, see that and also they see the loving care that people give to them just like Karen has noted and just like Bevan had noted as well. Yeah and also you know with Dr. Riddle there and, and Wedge um, it's an amazing uh, group of people that do the services there along with the nursing staff. Hey we have an anonymous donor that gave $2,500 so we want to thank that person and also Marilyn Dumbo has donated a thousand dollars and we're more than thankful for that. Thank you. Oh, and Ed Ness has donated. So thank you, Ed, so much for donating to Calvary Hospital. Thank you. Great. Great. Kim and John, do you have anything to add at this point? Yeah, I would just like to say that um, it's a true pleasure um, raising funds for Charlevoix Hospital and working with all of the community donors, um, year-round residents, as well as seasonal donors. Um, people are very passionate about Charlevoix Hospital for a very good reason. It truly is a special place. And, um, you know, the staff there is absolutely remarkable, and they truly treat patients like family and care about them. And um, the stories I hear at, during the meetings um, talking about, you know, you know, uh, you know, people's charitable wishes and um, the reasons why they're giving to Charlevoix Hospital truly is so touching. Um, so thank you all so much for the work that you're doing um, because uh, it really does mean a lot to the community. And, um, you know, I love, I love hearing these stories. So thank you, Sam. Mm -hmm. Greg? Thank you. Yeah, so time to open up the bidding for the Silver Circle giving level of $500. Use that Q&A icon again, like we've already talked about at the bottom of your screen, and then type in your name and the donation amount. If you don't want us to announce your name again, please say no name, and we'll try to be very careful about that. And so go ahead and think about that. We would love to uh, uh, think have you think about that donation and how, again, it can help our hospital. Good, oh, great. Uh, appreciate it, Bernadette and Dave Cole for that 500 donation. Uh, thank you so much. Craig, I think we missed one from Dave and Shirley Curtis, uh, $1,000 gift, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, I'm sorry. Great, and uh, Katie and Matt McLeod, thank you so much for that $500 gift. Well, you guys, we really appreciate all of this. It, it really helps support our hospital in many, many ways. ER, pharmacy, physical therapy, uh, supported a new unit in physical therapy before, and of course, all of our outpatient services. So we really appreciate your donations and hope that uh, more are coming in. Absolutely. Um, we'll give this just another second or two, and then what we'll do, we'll hand it over back to John and Kim. If you have any other 
online or mailed in gifts. We'd love to hear about that as well. And Kim might have a few to mention and I'd like to follow her. Great. Hey, you ready for me? Sure. All right. Um, I'd like to recognize Clint and Audrey Etienne, um, Catherine Francis, Dennis and Linda Goka, Gray Gables Restaurant and Catering, Bernadette and Matthew Herzog, Richard and Patricia Hodge, um, Mary and Dennis Jason, Daniel Cantor and Emmeline Weedman, Charlotte Coger and Samuel Lapresto. Uh, thank you so much for these gifts from the heart. They will continue to support quality healthcare here in Charlevoix. And now back to you. I'd like uh, just to recognize as well and thank Lakeview Dentistry of Charlevoix, uh, Dr. Melissa Mikowski, uh, Gerald and Kathleen Lowers, Christine Melpis, Frederick and Barbara Melpis, James and Taylor Melpis, Tad and Brenda Melpis, uh, Michigan Scientific Corporation, Paul and Joan Nowak, and Brian and Catherine Peters. Wow. Great. Thank you guys all so much. We have another donation, $500 level of Richard and Patty Hodge. Thank you so much. Thank you, Richard and Patty. It's so wonderful to see that. Thank you so much for that gift. Good deal. Great. Well, want to we go on to the next level there, Kat? Yeah, yeah. Now we're going to open up the bidding to our bronze circle, giving level of $250. Once again, click on the icon at the bottom of your screen, type in your name or put no name. Uh, we're happy to get any donation and um, we're really appreciative for what you guys are doing tonight. So $250 level for the bronze circle starts now. Thank you so much. As people are considering that, um, I just received a message from uh, Joanne and Frank Schroeder. I uh, want to let uh, everyone know that they have also donated $1,000 to our cause here tonight. Thank you so much, Joanne and Frank. We so appreciate you not only for this gift, but for all the effort and all the work that you do every day for our hospital. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Joanne and Frank. Thank you. Thank you, Joanne and Frank. Um, another quick uh, story, and again, you know, Kathy and I have been at our hospital uh, both late night and early morning and throughout the day. Uh, these gifts help so much. Um, I think about our laboratory now and before. Before, when you'd go into our laboratory, you'd go into this little cave that was almost like you'd have to put a mouse down so you'd know where to go. It was like a maze. And it was so congested, it's so crowded, and now we have this state-of-the-art laboratory because again, your gifts and your gifts matter. And that's what means so much to us tonight. And so thank you as you consider this gift level. Yeah, and I, I, I'll add that your gifts this year really support the staff at Charlotte Hospital and the outpatient services. I mean, of all years, it's been a rough year in medicine. Um, you know, we're, we're, there's been a lot of challenges and we're doing very well, but it's been challenging, probably the most challenging year Probably Craig will agree of all my 30 years in medicine. So um, we really appreciate any donation. We're at the $250 level and we really appreciate any donation that you all can give. Thank you. Good, Kath. Can I mention something about you too? Well, I guess. <laughs> Kathy and uh, Gary Wonski have donated $1,000 as well. Um, and I, I can't say enough about my colleague and Gary. And so I appreciate you so much and uh, what you do every day. Um, I can't tell everyone the level of care that Kathy Wansi gives to oh. patients every day. Well, thank you, Craig. Ditto. Yeah, I, I'll move over to Kim and John. Thank you. I'll move over to Kim and John and see if you have anything to add at this point. At level. Oh, you're on mute, Kim. Yes. Someone, had, someone had to do that tonight, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'd like to recognize um, Dr. Kenneth and Shirley Polakowski, um, Ted and Nancy Sherman, Site Planning Development, Nathan Scope and Lindsay Malpas Scope, 
um, Dr. Deborah and Daniel Smith, William and Elizabeth Stewart, Tom and Margaret Teske, Rod and Pat Tinney, and back to you, Dr. Rod. All right, Craig, you're up. All right. Well, let's keep it going here. Okay, now we're going to open it up for the $100 bid level. This is our last call for gift of love donations this evening. So if you'd like to make a pledge of $100, again, just like we've been talking about, click on Q&A, put in the amount, which at this point would be $100, or quite frankly, any other amount that you would like to give. Because again, we want to emphasize any gift level is a great gift level that will help our hospital go forward, and especially in challenging times like this. So thank you so much in advance. So go ahead and click on the Q&A, put it in, and we'd be happy to name off your name, or if not, please let us know. We'll give you that a few seconds to go on. Kath, any other thoughts? Yeah, just another, I'll, I'll throw in another thought. Um, you know, our outpatient medicine doctors, you know, Craig and I are outpatient medicine doctors at heart from our base of when we started medicine. And um, those guys have worked really hard this year. I don't know if everyone's aware, but they're, they're doing um, telemedicine now, which is a whole new ball game. Um, without seeing people in the office, they've learned this whole way to do medicine. Uh, by video, and can I say after tonight, I'm really appreciative of them. This is not easy. Uh, the feedback is very different than when you're in a room, I'm sure. So um, I'm really appreciative of them, and, and some of your information is really going towards the outpatient medicine to it rather than hospital. Absolutely, totally agree. They are challenging times, but uh, we're, we're getting through it. And I think it's so interesting as we go on, everyone, we as physicians are learning so much about how we can care for people in new and different ways that we hope, quite frankly, that these times will actually transcend in us ways that we can give better care even for the future. So we're quite, we're quite sure, we're quite confident that we can go forward and make this time, even though challenging and sometimes we just wanna just scream, we're going to make this a better thing because we'll be able to give better care for all folks in the future, and especially within our community, within our region, and within our system of Munson Healthcare. Yeah, now, right. yeah. you know, um, last one, I don't know if anybody announced Joanne and Frank Charter, but they gave a gift of $1,000 tonight. So we really appreciate that from our CEO and main leader of our hospital. So thank you so much. Great. Well, why don't we go ahead and uh, wrap up this portion. Kim and John, do you have anything else that you'd like to add before we go on? Yeah, I'd like to just recognize our, our last and, and certainly not least uh, final group of donors here. Uh, Kenneth and Nancy Visser, uh, Dr. William and Betty Wadland, Yvonne Wendt, Ed and Constant Wojan, Constance Wojan, uh, Floyd and Nancy Wright, and last, but certainly not least, uh, Dr. Anna and John Young. And, awesome. and uh, I guess to close us, uh, Kim, do you have the envelope with the final mail-in and online donation tally? Uh, as a matter of fact, I do. Oh, wow. Um, I'll take that from you, Kim, if you could give it to me. <laughs> I'll hand that to you. Great. There it is, Craig. Hey, thank you. This, that worked out perfectly. I, I missed your part. <laughs> We don't even have true stream yet. This is awesome. I mean, we, we've we still been on dial-up. It's been working out okay. The kids have complained, um, and especially the engineer in the family, let me tell you. Um, holy macaroni. Is this true, Kim? All right, guys, check this out. The mailed-in donations along with the online donations total at this time superimposed with what we've raised here tonight is $44,675, one, two, three. Woohoo! thank you so much. Thank you, Cheryl Boy, thank you so much. And boy, and Lee Stewart and everybody who contributed. Man, if I could break dance, I'd do that right now. But you can't. No. Uh, you're right, <laughs> look at me, look at me, I can't do that. So. Yeah. Hey, with that, our Gifts of Love live auction is officially closed. Thank you to all of you at home for your pledges and for, you know, just great support our donors have given this event, either mail in or donations online tonight. 
we cannot do our work at the hospital without you. So thank you so much. That's great. And now, Kathy, Joe, and I, we're going to go ahead and take a break. We're going to go ahead and uh, pass it off to Deborah Henderson, Interim President of Munson Fund Foundations, for a few words. Deborah, could you go ahead and give us a few words? Thank you so much, Dr. Boss and Dr. Wonski. I feel like that there's so little I can add to all that everyone has said tonight. Um, I, I cannot thank you enough for joining us this evening. We're so glad that you can be with us from the comfort and safety of your homes. And I'm truly honored to be a part of tonight's event. The support, the enthusiasm, and the excitement that surrounds Holly Days, it always um, makes me very emotional. Um, but this year especially, with so many challenges that we faced and to know that we have so many people that have supported the hospital, um, even with these very challenging um, times. I'm so touched by it. So thank you to everyone that's here tonight. I especially want to thank our Holidays Committee members. Um, even though this year's event is virtual, there were still so many hours and so much effort that was required to make tonight's event happen. And um, the committee members include Chris Balaz, Debbie Essenther, Ben and Jennifer Molidor, Amy Sherman, and a very special thank you to Susan Flanders, who is retiring from our board this year. She has been a very valuable member of the Holidays Committee for many, many years. So thank you to all of you. I do know how much hard work this is. Um, I'd also like to thank our staff. Um, so much of the foundation staff has, has had a hand in this, but especially Abby Robinson, Kim Bittinger, John Gower, and especially Kira Walkup. She is not on the screen tonight, but she is ever present as Munson Healthcare if you see her on the screen. Um, thank you so much for all of your hard work, your effort, your energy, your commitment to tonight's event. I, events are always challenging, but a virtual event has presented so many challenges to us, and this year is new. We're working through all of the unique um, opportunities that are proposed, that are presented to us because of COVID. And I'm grateful to our team for all of your hard work. And I am also grateful to our host tonight. I know how hard it is to host an event live, but to host an event virtually is extremely challenging. So to Dr. Boss, to Dr. Wonski, to Dr. Clayton, to Joe, thank you. Thank you so much for showing up tonight and really showing us how we can have a good time, an engaging event, and um, really celebrate the hospital. So thank you to everyone. There's so little that I can add. Um, so many people tonight have, have said so much about this event, but you know, since 1994, when this event began, Holly Days has demonstrated the significance of community support and provided Charlevoix Hospital with the tools and resources needed to serve its community for generations through the good times and the tough times. And this year is a tough time. Over the history of this event, as Dr. Wonski said, more than $2 million has been raised for Charlevoix Hospital. $2 million. Um, your gifts truly have an impact. And I re reiterate Joanne's comments that Charlevoix Hospital is strong. We continue to need your help and we are grateful for everyone tonight. We continue to face challenges because of COVID, but we also have additional fundraising opportunities that are present with our hospital. And we are so grateful to have you here tonight to present those opportunities and to talk to you about what we need here at the hospital. From making time for virtual gatherings, to donating a gift in kind, for a holiday auction, to making a gift of love tonight, there are so many ways that you've supported Charlevoix Hospital. And in times of need, our donors continue to show their support through their generous gifts. We are so grateful for whatever form of giving and whatever level feels comfortable for you. And please know all donations stay local and will be used exclusively here at Charlevoix Hospital. I cannot thank you enough for being here tonight, and I wish you all a very happy and healthy holiday season, and we hope to see you all here in person in 2020. Thank you so much. 
great. Thanks, Deborah. We really so appreciate much. it. Thanks so much, Deb. Hey, Joe, I think we're on to the one final giveaway this evening. Yeah, we sure are. And actually, just briefly before I do that, I saw a question come in while you all were doing your hard work, and I'm just sitting here with my cocktail. Uh, but we had a question from uh, Marilyn Dumwald, Dumbald, excuse me, who wanted to know how many folks joined us tonight. I thought that was a great question. I know we had 85 plus who were reserved to attend tonight. And I saw, I think at our top, we had at least 48 were signed in to the Zoom meeting. So who knows how many house, how many people were in each of those households. But I'd say we're probably pushing 70 or 80 as we expect. And that's very, very exciting. Yeah, Joe, and Marilyn's joining us from Arizona. So thank you for joining us from so Hi. far away. Thank you. And I thought I was the furthest away. Thanks, Marilyn. <laughs> well, we want to get to our last giveaway because we also know it's past seven o'clock and everybody's, you know, needs another cocktail if you've been sitting watching these wonderful folks and these great stories. Right. But our last final giveaway is a $50 gift card for Harwood Gold. And Tonight, uh, you know, not again, pulling, I can't do it as well as Dr. Boss did, you know, pulling some sort of envelope out or something, but our last winner tonight is James and Taylor Malpas. Ah. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Congratulations. On that link and sticking with us through, uh, through tonight and through the, um, the wonderful giving. So we want to thank you for being here. And you'll get your card in the mail from the foundation staff next week. Great. Joe, I think we have one more fun activity, our final option for tonight. I think you had something to share with us. We sure do. It's very exciting. We have one live auction here tonight. Now, you may have seen it online. It was available to bid on before, but they closed it early so that you tonight could have a, a special and exclusive opportunity to win this auction item, and it's really cool. It was previewed in your holidays invite, and it features Michigan musician Jill Jack, who we heard from earlier at the beginning of the evening. She usually performs for packed venues. As Dr. Boss said, she's won award after award and her audience is just love her. Uh, but for holidays, Jill is offering a one hour private backyard concert. Invite a few friends over for an intimate evening or on a campfire, open it up to the neighborhood, friends down the street. But make sure you're socially distanced, you're wearing your mask, and maybe even you're staying in your pod or appropriately distanced apart. Dr. Boss has got it right. Just don't forget to keep it socially distanced. And Jill has a wide repertoire. It's rock, folk, country, blues. She sings the covers and originals. We know from tonight that she covers Elvis Presley quite well, I might add. The woman does it all. For added fun, not just the shrimp boil will cater the entire event at your home and even clean up afterwards. How great is that? Holy moly. Right? Let's do no it. Mess, no clean up, no fuss on your part. Exactly. You write a check, you have a great evening with friends and your neighbors. You get to sit back and enjoy some great tunes under the stars with a full belly, which is frankly something we're missing tonight. Those <laughs> folks behind me are eating from five years ago, but here I am with an almost finished cocktail. So let's get this started. Don't you think, Dr. Wonski, Dr. Boss? Let's do it. Let's Sign do it. us up. All right. We're going to open it up in the same way that we did the Gifts of Love uh, donations. So if you go to your Q&A, uh, you can uh, start the bidding there. And we're going to start it at $600. So if, you, if you're interested in this opportunity, one, your dollars are going to go directly to critical care at Charlevoix Munson Healthcare, and you're going to get this great opportunity. So as you're opening that back up, Boy, they, they may have given all their gifts of love. We should have told them that this was coming up. They could have gotten some additional and extra value for the great giving tonight. Craig, are we in this? What are we in? Let me tell you what. We're, we're going to jump into this. Um, everyone, if, if you have not heard Jill Jack, really consider it. It would be a wonderful time that you could have in your backyard, whether you live on the lake, you live out on the farm, you live in the city. It would be a time that you could actually really enjoy a beautiful time together with Jill Jack. And I think it would be a great opportunity. Fantastic. You know, I see a raised hand out there, a, a name, a Zoom name of Sherman. I, I'm not sure if you were, you were hoping to give 600, if you could type into the Q&A box. That might be Nancy Sherman. Is she? You know, it's kind of like you're at an auction. You never want to raise your hands above your shoulder. You might accidentally be giving. <laughs> 
It looks like a thousand dollar donation, uh, Nancy Sherman. Awesome. Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can tell you that, that sure. we do have a $600 anonymous bid that's come in for this wonderful concert, backyard concert with all the fixings, full belly, no cleanup, under the stars. Do we have 700? I get a $700 bid. Like Dr. Boss, I never really wanted to be an auctioneer, but now I really wish I had that fast tongue. <laughs> Oh, there it is. I see it. It was, I, I'm assuming the Nancy Sherman, but Sherman yeah. came on the Zoom, a thousand dollar bid. Thank you, Nancy. Woohoo. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Well, do we have 1100? How about 1100, everyone? This is. Come on, you guys. Goes to good services at the hospital. We really need it this year. Fantastic. I think so. And I. I think Ms. Sherman would really like to give more. So I really think your next bid will just push her up. So <laughs> if we're in person, I think Dr. Boss and Dr. Wonski, you know, would, would help uh, shame people in the audience to make sure they were giving, you know, not looking down and away from us. <laughs> well, I think uh, with the hour tonight, the wonderful and Thank generous you. gift that we will call that bid closed and this wonderful auction item sold for $1,000. Thank Beautiful. you so much. Thank you so much, Joe and Nancy Sherman. And thank you again to everybody at home for participating and putting up with Craig and I and Joe tonight on, on Zoom. Um, we would like to invite all of our panelists back on screen at this point. Great. Well, it's certainly been an action-packed night. We tried to give you the best opportunity to not only donate, but for us to what? All come together because we're all together as a family of Charlevoix Hospital, and we appreciate you so much. So thanks to the Holidays Committee, yeah. to our sponsors, and to the generous gifts of donors for our homage. Which reminds me, don't forget, nine o'clock tonight, the online auction will close. And we want to especially thank all of you, our donors across the region for your generous support this evening. We can't verbalize enough what all that means to us. We're looking forward to celebrating together again next year. That's for sure. We want to be in person in where we person. can see that power and that energy. But I think we've seen that tonight too. Even though it's virtual, we've seen together what we can do as a hospital, what we can do as sponsors, what we can do as people providing that sponsorship for our hospital so that we can may remain vibrant. So, with all of us here tonight, all of us at Munson Charlevoix Hospital wish you a safe and healthy holiday season. We want to raise the glass. I've been raising it a lot tonight. <laughs> Kathy, Joe, <laughs> Joanne, Thanks, Deborah, John, Kim, and Bev and brother. Karen, I can't see you, but I know you're there. Yeah. <laughs> I wish everyone a happy holiday season. Happy holidays, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Happy holidays. Thank you, everyone and stay after the